Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos and thank you so much for all of your incredible support. Really, really do appreciate it. Now, we've got a big decision to make. Last episode, I wanted to get your thoughts on what you would do. We, of course, got a transfer offer. It came from Chelsea. There was loads of comments that you left me. So thank you for that, first and foremost. It was really cool to read through, see what you lovely people were saying and your thoughts on the matter. Um, but I have got a decision. And there was lots of comments in favour of us joining Chelsea. There was also a lot of comments in favour of staying at Wolves and seeing which offers may come our way. Um, there's a couple of reasons I've decided to do this. Um, so... I am going to go ahead and show you the message and reject the offer from Chelsea. We did play for them in last year's My Player Career Mode, and that was something that did cross my mind when I saw this offer come through. I do like to try and keep it, you know, mixed. There are occasions where I do play for the same team two years in a row. That, you know, will happen when you get to a certain overall. The best team in the world always wants to get you. Um, but yeah, Chelsea, thank you for your offer. But on this occasion, we will not be joining you. Now, let's get on to the why. Um, other than me playing for them in last year's My Player Career Mode, if we take a look at the Premier League table, they are, of course, top. But we're only in December. We're about to enter December 1st. It's 14 games into the season. They're four points clear of Manchester City. There's still a long, long way to go. So if we were to leave and go to Chelsea on the basis that we might win a Premier League title, that could all change within a matter of games. And then we're only playing in the Europa Conference League, which, yeah, I, I, I know that... Wolves, realistically, are we going to win the Europa League? Well, we're in it. We're in the knockout rounds. So there's a possibility, however slim that is, I would much rather be playing in the Europa League than the uh, Conference League, if I'm being completely honest with you. I just don't think um, winning the Europa Conference League is going to be that prestigious. It's not going to help us too much in our career. And whilst it would be cool to collect as many trophies as we can, I don't want to be playing in it. Um, and that's where Chelsea are, of course. For the Cups, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, you saw the draw. Um, we've actually got Chelsea in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. So I may be made to eat my words later on. But if we were to knock them out, then again, that's another cup that Chelsea aren't in. So yeah, I, I do appreciate the offer. And I do appreciate that all of you left me the comments. And I apologise to any of you who wanted to see us join Chelsea. Uh, but it won't be happening, at least for now. So I think the play is to make it to January and see where we stand at that point in time. Because as well... Whichever offer we accept now, we wouldn't be moving till January anyway. So, yeah, we've got to keep that in mind. And speaking of December, look how busy this month is. We've got Watford at first at home. And then we have our final Europa League game uh, before we go to Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge, which we will say today, or you will see it today, sorry. And then Newcastle at home. So that is the plan of action for today's episode. Without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy as we do a bit of training to get ourselves back in the starting eleven ahead of this Watford tie at Molyneux. And as we skip the days forward, Watford up into eighth. Victory for us will take us on to 22 points and it would allow us to leapfrog them and take over eighth place. There are the two lineups. As I say, we are at home. Ruben Vinagre starting in central midfield. I'm not sure why Mester McKenney is at left back, but that's been the case for the past few matches. Um, we've had Johnny playing in centre mid, of course. Let's get into game. And we are underway for the first match of today's episode. As uh, before kickoff, News were linking us to a potential move to Bayern Munich. And you might remember that in last year's My Player, we spent an awful long time at Dortmund, had some fantastic memories there. And uh, Bayern, well, that would be some story if we were to go there, wouldn't it? I'm not sure if Lewandowski's still there. But anyway, here come Watford on the attack early on. Connor Cody heads it away. Ran Radic picks it up. Now Fernandez through to King. And it should be Watford in front. Joshua King hits his effort straight at Jose Sar as we will pick up. The ball here, and it's not a great start from Wolves. Once again, though, as we are driving at Kiko Firmina, it would have to be all on our own, but we've done it before. We certainly can do it again as we're into the penalty area. Right-footed effort! <laughs> it happens again! We just pick up the ball in our own half and run and run and run and run towards goal. And then the next thing, the ball's in the top corner. <laughs> I can't actually believe this is how we're scoring goals. The pace is just so good. And then, when we're in this position, how about this for a finish on your weak foot? You want to save it, Keeps? No chance at all. Top bins. Wolves won. Watford nil. First shot of the game. And, yeah, Watford. Well, King had a great chance for them. Didn't take it. And we take ours. 11 in 15 for us in the Premier League. 
Watford still looking for a way forward with King, whose first half effort saved by Saar might have given them the lead. And then they went 1-0 down. And since then, not really done anything else to look like we're going to find our second. But all we need is that one opportunity as Rashic plays Neto. And this might be it. And Neto's ball forward to myself. And you know that we just want to run at them. And we will do exactly that. Into the area we go. It's 2-0 Watford. I mean, Wolves, sorry. Watford crumble. And it's really all too simple. The ball forward from Neto. And again, we get it. We dribble. We run at players. And they cannot handle us. And this is why we've had Chelsea looking at us, Bayern Munich now potentially as well. And this is why arguably we should be playing in the Champions League. Even if Watford go and score now, it'll only be a consolation. But there's full time from Molyneux, Wolves 2, Watford 0. We get ourselves a brace and both goals very, very similar. On to the next match. Well, there's the offer, Bayern Munich. £110,000 a week. The money's not important. That's not what we care about. Oh, Bayern, why? Why have you made the offer so early? We wanted some time to have to just think about it. Um, it doesn't tell us how much they've offered. It doesn't say, oh, £157 million. So it's much less than what Chelsea were offering, but it's been accepted nonetheless by Wolves, who would still make a profit on us. Bayern, Bayern, Bayern. I don't even know if this is up to date, by the way, this other league section. So we could check out the Bundesliga right now and it not actually be correct. Uh, apparently they're top of it. Dortmund down in fifth. As I say, we had a great time with Dortmund last season. It would be a funny story if we were to join Bayern Munich, though, wouldn't it? Um, this is a different offer to the one from Chelsea as well because it takes us out of England. It takes us... Think into the Champions League, I want to say as well, because I'm pretty certain that's where Bayern will be playing. Where are they? Let's have a look. Yes, they're second in that group. They're not actually qualified yet. They're not actually qualified yet. Right. We've got a Europa League game, and then it's Chelsea. And then we'll leave it. We'll ask again for you to make your decision. We'll see if, 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 if Bayern are able to to qualify for the Champions League. But this is a different offer that I wasn't really expecting to get. The Chelsea one was great, but the, the the thing that stopped me there was the Conference League. This time around, Bayern have the Champions League if they make it through. They're top of the Bundesliga, and they've got a real shot. Question is, actually, is Lewandowski still at Bayern? We look at the Champions League, it should tell us. And even then, if they get knocked out into the uh, Europa League, you fancy them to win that. Um, here we go, Bayern Munich. Lewandowski is still there. But he is decreasing. He's only 86 rated. Raul Jimenez, 83. It's funny that they've signed Jimenez and then me, potentially, if we go there. Liam Delaps there. They've got Rafinha out wide. They've got Serge Nabry still as well. Sai Gankov. Kingsley Coman. Joshua Kimmich still there. I mean, look, their side is great. We knew that. We knew it would be a good team. That was not the question. So... Yeah, what an offer this is. It's one to consider, certainly. Right, Europa League time anyway. Our final Europa League group stage. We'll worry about it after this. Let's go in and see if we can top the group, get first seed out of it. There's the lineup. Into game we go. On the other side, though, we might end up conceding one as they've hit the woodwork. Thunderous effort. Jose Sarr watches it onto the crossbar. I'm not sure he had it covered. Weston McKenney then. And I don't understand Wolves at some times because we have moments where you think, yeah, we're playing some good football. And then we have moments like this where we are struggling to really look dangerous in the game. As the ball does find its way towards me, we've got a player over on the left in Weston McKenney. Now Ruben Vinagre's in. It's a fantastic one-handed save by Hansen. Dama Traore from the corner then. Can he find a good delivery? Well, he's gone towards the middle and the ball is down for me to try and get it back. We'll play it back out to Traore. Who can look for another cross into the middle. And there it is. It's deflected. And it's not my goal. It'll be an own goal. Adama Traore. His delivery causing the problems. And a ball is in the net. And Wolves have their breakthrough. That goal takes us back top of the group. And we have to get another look at this as well. Ball back out to Traore. It's a great delivery back in for us to try and challenge. And there you go. In off the defender. Ratchic. Inside to Ruben Vinagre. Ten minutes to go until half-time. And remember as well, there's still something to play for here for Aarhus because they could still get into the Conference League as Traore, a 1-2, gets it back. We went first time on the right foot. 
Looking for the early chance as Ruben Vinagre and Ratchic combine. And it's still with Wolves who go in search of their second goal here. Semedo joining the attack now from right back. Goes to the edge of the penalty area. Ratchic squeezing it through. Space opens up. It should be in the net. It's not. That is a poor effort from me. Got to hit the target there. I don't know how on earth I've, I've put it so far wide. Try all right towards Dendonka. And we're in space here. Dendonka's pass will find me. They backed off, allowed us to shoot. And Hansen provides the save. It's kept in play as well. Brilliantly. And uh, it's a chance. But it's a save by Hansen. And whilst everyone winning here at Molyneux, it does not matter what is happening with Besiktas and Betis. But to let you know, there has been an equalising goal for Besiktas. So it's 1-1 there. Meaning that we could draw this and be top still. Then Donka. Now Ratchic. A second goal would pretty much see this out for us. Traore looking to provide it. Now Ratchic again. And here is Neto. Good save, Hansen. We've been in this position before. Running at defences. Here we go again. And there's the outcome. 2-0 Wolves, game set and match, top seed out of the group secured, surely. Podence sets us away, are we immediately going to get a third? Well, we've got Dendonka, he's hit the woodwork. We tried to be selfless and Dendonka was really close to a Wolves third. Full time here at Molyneux, it finishes Wolves 2, Aarhus 0. And that is us out of the group in first. But the question is... Have Bayern Munich made it to the Champions League knockout rounds or are they in the Europa League? So let's have a look then to see if Bayern are through. Um, group B, though, they were Group C and they are. Oh, it was close, though. They just about did it. Napoli finishing on the same points, but Lyon topped the group. So Bayern will play Champions League knockout football for the remainder of this season. And does that give us something to think about we got Chelsea before we go today and before I ask you to give me your thoughts twice in two episodes, I'm asking for your help to leave me some comments. Chelsea, by the way, down to third now. So, yeah, if they don't win here against us, they will not return top. They have got a game in hand and could go one point clear of Liverpool. But it's beginning to look like it might have been a bit of a correct decision for us to not go there just yet, especially now they're down in third. And if we beat them here... Well, we have a chance to go to 7th ahead of Arsenal on 25 points. So, the first game against Chelsea since we rejected that offer. We've also got a cup game against them coming up. But it all might not mean much if we end up going to Bayern in January. Let's see what we can do away at Stamford Bridge. There are the sides. They go with a 5 at the back. And I'll be honest, I was expecting a stronger Chelsea lineup here. Chelsea corner, Visca and Pulisic, the two players... Over there on this side. And they will look to put the cross in. Pulisic to Clark Salter. Bakayoko keeps it. Now Visca. Clark Salter again. And Chelsea lead. His first effort was blocked. His second was delightful to find the top corner. Jake Clark Salter's first goal of the season. In his first appearance as well for Chelsea. Fantastic finish from him. And we are behind then at Stamford Bridge. And I'm sure the Chelsea fans will be loving that. Johnny, Ratchic, forward to myself. And there was a challenge coming in in front of us, but we keep hold of it here. Traore, and is there a chance to put a cross in? Well, he's found me along the floor. There's the pass towards Podence. Kepper! Oh, what a save! How is that not 1-1? That is poor from Johnny. Just giving it straight away to Conor Gallagher. Gallagher's ball towards Lukaku, shifting it onto the right foot. Back to Gallagher, now Pulisic. Chelsea beginning to create things as Gallagher goes for it. It's 2-0 Chelsea. It's a scrumptious effort from Conor Gallagher. And they're beginning to run riot here at Stamford Bridge. They really are enjoying this. Amazingly as well, that is also Conor Gallagher's first of the season in his first match of the season. So two players playing for the first time in the Premier League for Chelsea have given them two goals. Maybe should be playing more. As Pulisic, dispossessed by Dundonka, Podence's ball forward. I mean, that doesn't help me at all. Thiago Silva, though, may have just put himself into a bit of danger. But he calmly plays it off to Reese James. And possession starts. You can see Chelsea dominating. Well, not dominating, but in front. And they are certainly dominating in terms of the scoreline and chance creation. Clark Salter is having a field day at right back for them. McKenney prevents the corner. Traore to take us forward. As I'm in my own half, so I will be... Well, I'm not in my own half. What am I about? As Thiago Silva can't keep with us. Chance to maybe put it past Kepper, and he do. 
It's a goal back for Wolves. It's 2-1. Can we pick up the ball, please, so we can go again? It's a lifeline from our first chance of the game. And we take it. Three minutes until half-time. Christian Pulisic carrying Chelsea forward. Baba Rahman joining the attack. That's poor from Pulisic. He gives it straight to Ratchich. And now Podence. Podence gets us away. And I'm looking maybe to try and put it back on the left foot. We do. It's wide. How have we not found the net? Five minutes to play. And we are looking to create a chance. We've got Rhys James keeping us company here. We need support to arrive. And it does now arrive in the form of Neto. Ratchich brilliantly worked. It's fantastic for the touch. What was the first touch? I can't believe that. Look how well we work it. And then for some reason, my first touch is awful. That should be 2-2. Oh, what a mistake to make. And now Chelsea fans will be absolutely laughing their socks off at the fact that I've just done that. That is terrible. Ratchich, we still want one more chance. Johnny, ball forward. We've opened up the space. Oh, Kepa. Kepa keeps it out. And that'll be the last action. No, actually, we get a corner. Still can't believe that first touch. What on earth was that? Um, change Kante on for Bakayoko. Delivery near post. There's the header. It's 2 2. We've done it. 2 <laughs> 2. Get in. And a last minute celebrations to boot as well. And look at the reaction of Thiago Silva. He can't believe it. The near post header past Kepper into Chelsea's goal. It's points shared here at Stamford Bridge. And we stop Chelsea going back top of the Premier League. I've got nothing against them. I don't know why I'm celebrating so much. I just have it in my head that the fans, you know, with me having that poor first touch inside Stamford Bridge would be giving me grief at this moment in time. So to then go and get the second right there is phenomenal. 14 in 16 Premier League matches. And it'll finish Chelsea 2, Wolves 2. As my friends, that will be the end of the episode with this result against Chelsea. What a game. Champions League round of 16 draws being made and Bayern Munich will play Liverpool in the round of 16, is it, in the Champions League? Um, so if we want to go to Bayern, it would be Liverpool we'd have to face in the Champions League. I think it is the round of 16. It is the round of 16. Europa League draws that been made yet? It has. And we have got... No, it's the preliminary round, sorry. So that's the Champions League knockouts. Um, yeah, the teams who finished in third. So uh, where does that leave us for the Premier League then? That leaves us in eighth place after 16 matches. Chelsea down into second. Only a point adrift of Liverpool, who are top of the league. Spurs in third as well. But once again... I come to you, lovely people, to help me out and make the decision. The offer from Bayern Munich is there. £110,000 a week, but as I say, money is not important. They've got Liverpool in the Champions League. We've had a look at their squad already. Um, if I look again at the Bundesliga, it said they were top last time. We'll see if that's still the case. As uh, There we go. The Ep, well, apparently to this day are top. Five points clear. I'm not sure if that is the case or not. We'll, we'll have to see if we do end up going there, if that is how it's panning out. So, yeah. Thank you for all your comments on the last episode in regards to the Chelsea offer. I now ask you again, what would you do about this Bayern offer? We would go in January if we were to accept it. Um, so then it would mean that whatever we do here with Wolves is largely not important if you, you know, would take that offer. Um, but let me know. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it, a like would be greatly appreciated. As always, a huge thank you for all of your support. If you are new around here and like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below and I will catch you all again with the next episode very, very soon. Until then, stay safe. Have a great evening. Have a great day. Take care, everyone. Adios.